I'm talking with Bruce Lane. He's the newly promoted VP of Operations at Quaker Steak and Lube. And Bruce, you've had a lot of changes at your brand. Uh, bringing it out of bankruptcy about 18 months ago and you've really done a lot of uh, cleanup and you're ready to start growing again you mentioned right. can you talk about maybe one or two of the key initiatives that you are looking at now when you're at this point okay well yeah we we bought the company out of bankruptcy uh, about 18 months ago as you said and the several months we have been working on relationships working with our current franchisees making sure they're solvent, uh, operating well, profi profitable restaurants. And uh, now that we have that, uh, we have, uh, are ready to start uh, growing the brand again. Uh, we haven't had that as a focus. We were working more on, uh, on our inside core. Uh, and now we are starting to build relationships with outside vendors, other business partners, so we can help expand uh, our franchise base with uh, r real estate people, uh, investment firms, uh, anything that a new franchisee coming in may have so we can try to deliver a full package of options uh, for uh, potential franchisees coming in. And how many stores do you have at this point? We have 50 restaurants. Uh, 15 of those are company owned, uh, the rest are franchised, uh, mostly in the eastern Ohio, western Pennsylvania area, uh, but we do have some in Louisiana, uh, Florida, uh, Virginia and that right now is our, is our core. Where do you think you will start that push to, to begin growing again, geographically? Uh, geographically, I think a, a smarter way to do it is organically, uh, from our core base, moving out uh, logistic-wise, customer base-wise, people know who Quaker Steak and Lube is in our area. So if we grow out, you know, the next big cities could be uh, uh, Kentucky, the uh, uh, Kentucky area, Virginia, head down, maybe head down south in some, some of the warmer states. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're open to any uh, investments uh, that people may have out there, but we are uh, specifically going to address uh, our core neighboring states for the restaurants we operate in. And what do you think will be your top priority of, as VP of Ops of a brand that's been through a lot? Is it again that relationship building or how do you go about that? It is all about relationships. It is making sure that we remember who our franchise partners are uh, and what they're there for. And when they succeed, we will succeed. Uh, one of the great things about uh, Travel Centers of America, the, who is the parent company, is uh, we've got a lot of infrastructure. We have a, we have a lot of capabilities that we can help our franchisees uh, better their sales and profits. And that is what we're going to focus on going forward. Anything that makes them successful will ultimately make us successful. Well, it sounds like a great challenge, and so thanks for talking with abo us about it. And I've been talking with Bruce Lane with Quaker Steak and Lube, and I'm Beth Ewan with Franchise Times.